And I'm fond of the major themes. This is the last and fourth lecture on Animal Farm. Theme 1. The Nature of Tyrants Broadly speaking, Animal Farm satirizes politicians, specifically their rhetoric, ability to manipulate others, and insatiable lust for power. Despite his seemingly altruistic motives, Napoleon is presented as a power-hungry individual who masks all of his actions with the excuse that they are done for the betterment of the farm. His stealing the milk and apples, for example, is explained by the lie that these foods have nutrition essential to pigs who need these nutritions to carry on their administrative work. His running snowball off the farm is explained by the lie that Snowball was actually a traitor. Whenever the farm suffers a setback, Napoleon blames Snowball's treachery, which we of course know is not true. Each time that Napoleon and the other pigs wish to break one of the Seven Commandments, they legitimize their transgressions by changing the commandment's original language. Napoleon's walking on two legs, wearing a derby hat, and toasting Pilkington shows how much the pigs crave power at the expense of the other animals. The noble snowball is portrayed as a traitor, and hence the dictator is twisting the facts to suit his regime. Number two. The role of the populace. Orwell does not imply that Napoleon is the only cause for Animal Farm's decline. He also satirizes the different kinds of people whose attitudes allow rulers like Napoleon to succeed. Molly is a vain horse whose only concerns are materialistic. She is like people who are so self-centered that they lack any political sense or understanding of what is happening around them. Apolitical people like Molly, who care nothing for justice or equality, offer no resistance to tyrants like Napoleon. Boxer, the horse, is likened to the kind of blindly devoted citizen whose reliance on slogans, Napoleon is always right, prevents him from examining in more detail his own situation. Although Boxer is a sympathetic character, his ignorance is almost infuriating, and always suggests that this unquestioning ignorance allows a ruler like Napoleon to grow stronger. The sheep are also reminiscent of the big crowd. Number three, religion and tyranny. Another satiric theme of Orwell's novel is the idea of religion as the opium of the people, as Karl Marx famously wrote. At the beginning, the animals are hopeful for a better future and therefore dismiss the prophet Moses the raven's stories of a paradise elsewhere. But as their lives worsen, the animals begin to believe him, because, I quote, Their lives now, they reasoned, were hungry and laborious. Was it not right and just that a better world should exist somewhere else? Here Orwell mocks the dreaming of a better place to be after death. The pigs allow Moses to stay on the farm, and even encourage his presence by rewarding him with beer, because they know that his stories of Sugar Candy Mountain will keep the animals docile. As long as there is some better world somewhere, even after death, the animals will work hard in this one. 
Thus, Orwell implies that religious devotion, viewed by many as a noble character trait, can actually distort the ways in which one thinks of one's life on earth. A final noteworthy satiric theme is the way in which people proclaim their allegiance to each other, only to betray their true intentions at a later time. The rulers of the rebellion, the pigs, betray the ideals for which they presumably fought. While the humans Pilkington and Frederick only listen to Jones in the Red Lion Inn because they secretly hope to gain something from their neighbor's misery. Similarly, Frederick's buying the firewood from Napoleon seems to form an alliance that is shattered when the pig learns of Frederick's forged banknotes. The novel's final scene demonstrates that, despite all the friendly talk and flattery that passes between Pilkington and Napoleon, each is still trying to cheat the other, because they both play the ace of spades simultaneously. So the friendly game of cards is a facade that hides each ruler's desire to destroy each other. According to Orwell, rulers such as Napoleon will continue to grow in number and in power unless people become more politically aware and more wary of these leaders' so-called noble ideals.